Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a first day of school vlog. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm gonna do my best to just document and update you guys on kind of how my first day of teaching middle school goes. It is currently 6.50. I'm in my room already just to kind of set up and get some stuff done. Um, I'll talk to you guys later um, about why I come in so early for work, but for now, I'm gonna just give you guys my to-do list. This morning, my goal is to fix the, ooh, mosquitoes in my room, is to fix the taping and the labels or like the titles on my whiteboard. I wanna put up a little bit more of my greenery. <clears throat> I want to make sure I have everything ready and prepped for today's classes. Um, and then if I get time, I will kind of pre start preparing and looking over tomorrow's lesson as well. So right now I just walked in. I have all my stuff right here that I brought home or brought from home. So some stuff that I was prepping this weekend, some goodies um, and my water. So I will just kind of vlog and show you guys my morning and my day as the day goes on. I hope I don't forget to record. If I happen to forget to vlog, I will just, at the end of the day, vlog a kind of like summary of my day, but I'm gonna do my best to record here and there. All right, so I am driving, so this will be nice and quick. Um, I just wanna let you guys know I survived my first day as a middle school teacher. Um, overall, it was a really good day. I got to meet all my students, at least everyone that showed up for the first day. Um, we did a lot of getting to know one another. I had them do a little activity where they were getting to know their teacher. And then I also did an activity where I was getting to know them. And then we were playing games pretty much. Like it's just a little lighthearted, kind of teaching some expectations and rules. Tomorrow we are gonna start off with our first, our first math review where they are going to be um, working on a little math review section. But other than that, um, um, it was a really good day. And good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, it is the second day back to school and I just want to, I think I might try to continue this vlog. Yesterday I met with all of my classes and we basically just did a lot, like a get to know you activity. They got to know me through a little fun interactive quiz and then um, I get to know them. They shared something on a sticky note. I think I have a clip of that. And then we did um, a little bit of like expectations when entering and exiting the classroom. And other than that, I I had them play a game within the groups, and that was pretty much it. So on today's agenda, for my advisory class, I believe we just go over some, like, norms and, like, preparing for, like, class circles and stuff. At my school, we do block schedules, so Tuesday through Friday, I only see two to three classes a day, um, and then it just rotates based on the day. And so on Tuesdays, I have three classes. <clears throat> And today with my my classes, I plan to just go ahead and talk about our class syllabus and then um, they're going to write a little like if you really knew me a little um, like warm up just to share a little bit about themselves. <clears throat> and then at the end of the day, we're doing like a little math review. It's in a bingo form. So hopefully that works out and it's a lot of fun. Uh, but we shall see. I'm basically doing like a week, um, my first week back to school vlog. But the only thing is I'm horrible at actually vlogging. I'm doing good in the mornings or after work. But when I get to work, I just kind of get started on stuff. And I 
forget to record anything throughout the day. So I do my best to vlog more throughout the day today so that this video can be more than just me explaining everything that I'm doing. So it is 6.38. Um, I'm going to head to work. I'll get there probably before 7. So that gives me an hour to just prep and settle in. So I will see you guys when we get to my room. All right, so it is 7.07. .07. I just got to work uh, about five, 10 minutes ago. Um, the first thing I did was just get my lights set up, put a few things away that I didn't put away yesterday, and um, I am just currently looking over my um, agenda, connecting to the, to the projector, and hearing some music. Um, a few things that I do need to get done today, I need to write down some dates in my planner. So we have a rally this week, and next week I think is back to school night, and then a few other things going on coming up. I want to just write them in my notebook as far as like meetings and things. Um, I do also want to try to connect my document camera. I don't know if I'll have time to, but I'll try to figure that out. Um, I've been wanting to connect my smart plugs to my lights and haven't had time to do that. But when I did have time, I couldn't get them connected. But I should be able to because I figured out my printer situation yesterday. Um, yesterday was, or the past week, I've been having some issues connecting my printer or it'll say it's connected, but I can't print. And so, uh, what else do I need to do? I'm gonna file a few things. Um, and uh, there was something else I wanted to do, but I can't. Oh, I need to make some copies. So around like 7.45, I'm gonna head to the office to make some copies of the schedule. I know some of my seventh graders need their schedule or the um, bell schedule, so I'm gonna copy that for them. Um, but other than that, I am just gonna get some stuff together and call it a morning. So something I like to do once I get in all situated and connected is to open up all of my um, files for the day. So I know I need to show um, certain things for my advisory. So I'm making sure all of those are pulled up and those tabs are ready to go. And then I know my advisory blends right into my first period of the day. So I make sure I have my content up for my classes as well. So it just, it just helps me having them pulled up. So I don't have to like go through my emails when I have my class in front of me. Um, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. So this is what I mean. Um, I just made sure to take time to have all my tabs that I need open already to go so I can just flip through here instead of having to search for them. Good morning. It is Thursday, um, August 18th, and I just got to work. It is a little after 7. I am about to um, just kind of calendar in some things that I never calendared in yesterday. Um, obviously, turn my lights on get my stuff together for today's lesson um just a reminder my tuesdays and wednesdays are literally identical i teach the same things because i don't see all my students in one day i think i covered that my thursdays and fridays are the same as well so today's thursday and i haven't taught this lesson so i'm gonna make sure i have everything prepped for my classes for the next two days and then um that's pretty much it i'm not putting too much on my plate i've, I've been finding myself coming to my room getting myself like situated but then I'm also adding too much to my plate in the morning so that when the bell rings I feel like I have stuff that I still need to finish and so I'm gonna try working on not having too much to get done um, but that is that this morning just turning on all my lights um, yesterday what I was able to get done I actually added my group um, my, I labeled each group because I keep like pointing and directing um, people from certain groups because I'm still learning names and it's kind of annoying not having like groups to identify them with So I have groups one through seven now So I will share that with my classes today and tomorrow letting them know that which group they're in um, What else I think that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, And I will see you guys a little bit later. I know I've been doing horrible at vlogging my days It's just because they literally go like that as long as this week has been the the days like in the moment they just fly by like i literally feel like i hardly have time for anything during the day so that is that and i will see you guys soon this is my outfit i'm just wearing this little 
tan shirt with some jeans. I was gonna try to save jeans for Friday, but I had nothing else I wanted to wear. All right, so I kind of just want to go over my lesson for today. Alexa, volume one. So here is my slides for the day. So starting off with seventh grade, I have seventh grade for periods one and five. Um, they're gonna do a little writing this morning. They're going to just write a letter to themselves. We're gonna do a class scavenger hunt um, and then a bingo game as a math review. So here's the rules for the, well, the, well not rules, but expectations for the time capsule, the class scavenger hunt, and then the bingo activity. So what I'm about to do is I'm just prepping my things for each period, basically. So I have my scavenger hunt forms here, the bags with all of the questions or statements, basically, and there's 12 different statements on here, like um, where do you turn in your work or um, how do, where can I find certain things around the room? And then they're just gonna go there, look for the sticky note, and then um, after they find the letter, they put it right back. Um, this is the bingo activity. I created these little bingo cards that they will use a little marker. Oops. They'll use a little marker to, um, you know, circle their answers or circle the correct answers. And then we'll see who gets bingo. I do have the questions here already. So that's like my little call sheet that I created. So that's pretty much it. So they're doing, I have them returning or turning in their um, signed syllabus this morning as well. So I'm gonna be collecting those. And then I have um, the, the time capsule, which is just like morning, come in and work on that. So I have to get those ready so that I can hand those out. So they're gonna do that writing piece and then um, we'll go into the scavenger hunt. That's ready to go and the bingo game is ready to go and then that's our whole period. So that's pretty much it. So um, I'm just gonna set everything up. I need to still put the sticky notes where they need to go so that they can find the letters. The word that they are going to be unscrambling or finding perseverance so i'm just going to talk about the definition a little bit um this is my key so i'm going to go through and place the letters where they need to go all right so i have my letters here um i wrote out each letter what i'm going to do is read each one and put them where they need to go so the first one says Go to the place in the classroom where you will find out what you missed when you are absent. Well, obviously, you're eating. Oh. Easy game. Whoever gets out, it's harder of them. Just do it. Happy Friday, you guys. It's um, almost 6 30. I'm about to leave. Um, don't mind my head wrap. Haven't done my hair fully yet. Um, it's Friday. It definitely does not feel like Friday. It's been the longest week ever, but I'm so glad it's Friday. Today is a rally, so we are on rally day schedule. Um, and so our days look a little bit different. Um, I will check in with you guys when I get to work because I'm tired. <coughs> All right, bye. Here's my outfit for the day. We do have a rally. We are doing superhero themed competitions. My team is DC, so I'm wearing Superman. I have these white flurry pants and a jean jacket. My goal for this morning is to set up my document camera. First and foremost, I cannot teach without my document camera set up. So I have it here. Um, I've never used this type before. So let me figure out how to connect it and then if i figure it out then i will update you guys um but that's what i have planned it is 6 40 almost 6 40. wait no it's six, almost 6 45 i think there's a glare over my clock so i can't really see it and i forgot my watch so it's almost 6 45 and i'm gonna try to connect this so that i can utilize my document camera because that's the way i love to teach so i will keep you guys updated